Hey, this is James from SmilePunk.com. And this is still CPS Mike. So, Mike, I'm going to show you how you get some fire starter. This is, uh, this is me trying to keep Mike alive. So, all of this stuff on this tree here is super resinous and makes an excellent fire starter. Which, only to be used in, you know, an emergency situation. Don't go around just chopping trees to pieces like this. Unless, you know, they're, they're dead woods and then you can come down for firewood and, you know, for you to get the fat wood out of them. But, this is just scraping the bark off. It's going to be fine. Don't, don't cut past the cambium layer. Which is just the inner layer of the bark, which is edible. You missed it. I ate a piece already. Eat another piece for the camera. Um, actually, there's something I want to try. I'm going to look it up and then we're going to do a video on it. You're going to put the Cambrian um, layer on your fat wood? It's called pine bacon. Pine bacon? Pine bacon. You mean like, uh, like oink oink bacon? Yes, like you can take the strips of the pine and uh, make some bacon out of it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you, they're just frying the, uh, the inner bark layer. If you had a ferro rod, and I don't have one on me, but I carry a cigarette lighter. Not that I smoke, but... That's Mike Hawk's uh, favorite uh, form of fire starting. The easiest way to start a fire. Yeah. So... I mean, yeah, it's always good to know several different ways of starting a fire in various different situations and places and climates. But just bring a lighter with you. It's so much easier. Yeah, you'll see that the resin in this stuff really will just take off. If I can find a really resinous part. And there's your fire. Look at that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we keep Mike alive.